All Kiwi power tests took place at the Nuclear Rocket Development Station at Jackass Flats, Nevada. Here in the desert, scientists and engineers check the actual performance at various power levels and for various time periods. Each experimental Kiwi reactor was received in sections, assembled and checked out in a special reactor maintenance, assembly, and disassembly building called simply RMAD. When the reactor was ready for testing, it was placed nozzle up on a special rail car and delivered to the test stand a mile or so away. This car could be controlled from a remote station. Liquid hydrogen from nearby storage tanks was pumped through the reactor. First tests were begun in 1959 and were run to the 100 megawatt level, about one-tenth of Kiwi's ultimate goal of 1,000 megawatts. Later tests, beginning in 1962, operated at the full 1,000 megawatts. Films of these early tests show the flaming torch on the test stand that burns off the hydrogen exhaust gas and prevents an explosion hazard to the test facilities. Upon completion of these tests, each reactor, by then radioactive, was transported by remote control back to the RMAD building for disassembly and inspection. Here, men working behind shielded walls used remote-controlled manipulators to remove the components for careful checking and analysis. Each test firing added information that helped scientists evaluate the reactor's performance and enabled them to make adjustments and corrections before the next reactor was assembled. <laughs> 